the Steelers actually won. What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. So the Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Buffalo Bills today, 23 to 13, absolutely insane. I'm honestly surprised how this happened. Oh, we played great. Our offense was slow in the beginning. I mean, we couldn't put up anything. It was scoreless at half. But come the fourth quarter, we put up 17 points, giving us that lead. The defense, though, like I said, just came in clutch with that punt block and just stopping the Bills, you know, on those third and fourth downs. Just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely great. Definitely the underdog in this game. I mean, the Bills, one of the best teams last year. They actually destroyed us last year. Us having a weak offensive line, just a weak offense in general. Uh, you know, we were the underdogs. Everybody picked us to lose. So, I mean, I'm actually just surprised. I can't get over the fact that we won. Uh, you know, played terrible in the first half, but just bounced back in the second. Had our offense going, had our defense playing just great the whole overall game. Big Ben looked good, our receivers looked good. Uh, Najee Harris played pretty well, and our line wasn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, definitely excited to see what's uh, happening for the future. Let's get into these highlights. So, the start of a rough half for us Steeler fans. I mean, takes it back to what, the 30 yard line right here? Let's see, to the 50. Keeps going. I thought he was gonna take it, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, took it to the 25. So just a bad start for us, obviously, right away. But, you know, kept it to only three points, so that's obviously huge. Josh Allen takes over. And then, you know, he was pushing pretty good. Then we get the ball back. Third and four. Let's see what Big Ben does. Yeah, stripped the ball. I mean, that's not really his fault. I mean, offensive line game up there. He had a he had a run. I mean, obviously, he's not the type of player to run. We get a flag here for, I think it was unnecessary roughness or unsportsmanlike conduct. I mean, even though Hyde did punch back, I think it was should have been even. No flag. Well, well, they tried a flea flicker. We don't get it. Big play by Sutton. I mean, he played it well today. Definitely played really good. You know, taking, you know, the spot after Steven Nelson. So we're starting off second quarter. Big catch here. Yeah. Oh, no. That's, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. My bad. My bad. We'll see, though, later. The big catch by uh, Claypool when he mossed White. Big strip sack by TJ Watt. That's why we pay him whatever he wants best edge rusher in the game no doubt about it Chandler Jones though if you paid attention he had like five uh, sacks today so it's pretty good too obviously Gabriel Davis so he's gonna be a problem I'm telling you he really is gonna be a problem the receiver core is just good Beasley Diggs Davis Sanders Davis once again though, nice catch, just nice throw, nice catch, blown coverage, well not blown coverage, just you know, one on one, Davis won it, obviously. So 10 nothing. I'm getting nervous, makes a big throw to the Ebron, but we get our first points on the board, you know, debating whether we should go for it there, just take the field goal. So 10 to 3 now, 30 and 8. <sighs> Cole Beasley dropped a lot today. Did have a pretty good, uh, pretty decent game though as well. Three minutes and 45 seconds into the third quarter. Left in the third quarter. Claypool though. I mean these end rounds with Claypool. They are insane. I mean they worked last year. They're gonna work a lot this year. But yeah, another short field goal right here. Making the score to six, I mean, I'm sorry, 10 to six, going into the fourth quarter. I'm still nervous though. But this is when we start picking up, one up 17 points in the quarter. Najee Harris picks it up, has a big run there. Pretty sure this is a throw to Johnson. Yes, it is. Great catch. I mean, he just makes great throws. Led the league in drops last year, but the catches he has, they're insane. He just, we just gotta work on him being consistent. Positively, not negatively. We're back on defense, so I mean, listen. We were Josh Allen's nightmare today. I don't know how many sacks uh, Wah had, but he was in the backfield a lot. He was, he was roughing Josh Allen a lot. This is our block punt, huge. This changed the game around. I mean, we were already leading, but this changed the game around. This, this sealed the deal. 
all the energy in. Buffalo just went down. Fans started to leave early. I saw them the, you know, before the one uh, drive, they were showing like the fans leaving the gate. 20 to 10, the eight minutes left in the fourth. Singletary had a big run, big cover on this drive. But they get nothing out of it. Fumbles out of bounds, throw their ball over, but they still with the field goal here, I'm pretty sure. Making the score 20 to 13. Yep. So 20 to 13. Juju played great too. Didn't have many catches, only at four for like 50 some yards, but played great when we needed him to. Chris Boswell held that deep field goal. Had him on my bench for fantasy. I had Bucker starring, so hopefully he just plays way better than Boswell did. But you know, we see the deal here. Just making Josh Allen just look silly, honestly. Our pass coverage, I'm sorry, our uh, rush was just insane. Our pass rush was just insane. TJ Walker and evolved again there. But yeah, the game's basically over now. They have no timeouts. They're just trying to push it downfield. Didn't get anything. Still with the field goal again, though. Trying to get the onside kick after and try to throw a Hail Mary. But obviously, it doesn't work, as you're about to see here. Good onside kick, though, but not good enough. We recover. We're one and zero. We're starting the season off undefeated. So big. Well, everyone, that was the recap from the Bills game. I said in my preview earlier this week on Wednesday, I said I'm not looking forward to it. We're the underdogs. Not going to be a good outcome. Didn't know what's going to happen. Wasn't favoring my Steelers, but we pulled it off. I'm surprised. Huge win. Huge momentum. We're playing the Raiders next week gonna be a hard game again but we could beat the bills we could beat a lot of teams in the nfl so definitely excited just gotta prove that offense hopefully you guys enjoyed leave your thoughts in the comments below let me know what you guys think even if you're a steelers fan or not i'm out guys peace